here to worship. We're here to bless the name of the Lord. We're here to say that you're wonderful, you're glorious, you're marvelous. You're to be praised, you're to be lifted on high. Let's just lift our voice down and clear, Father God, you're you're marvelous, you're wonderful. Speak well of him, declare the Lord his greatness. You're vast, you're strong, you're mighty, you're glorious, you're extraordinary. We bless you, we magnify your holy name. We give you the glory, we give you the honor. We sit on magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. We bless you, Father God, and we honor you, Father God. You're a good God. Oh, what is good is mercies of the last and his truth and do it to all generations. We will bless the name of the Lord our God, and the humble will be will hear and be glad. We bless you, Father God, and we honor you. God bless you. We magnify your holy name. We glorify your holy name. We worship you. We thank you, Father God, we magnify your holy name. We desire you, we hunger for you, we thirst for you. After you, we pray for you in the divine presence. We honor you, Father. Lift our hands in the sanctuary. There is no that none that's greater. We worship you, Father God. We intentionally give you a hallelujah in this place. Yes. We declare yes. hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. We praise you, Father. We magnify your holy name. Yes. You're a gracious and extraordinary God. We love you and we magnify your holy name. Yes. There is no other portion. There is no other job. There is no other rock. There is no other provider. We bless you, Father God. We glorify you, Holy Spirit. Give you worship, Lord God, from our hearts, sincere hearts. We worship you, Father. Yes. Ah. Mm. Mm. We worship. Bangla Bangla I've waited all morning, Jehovah, <laughs> to worship you. Praise to glorify your holy name. We have waited, Father God, and we are here to worship. Yes. To give you the exclusive worship. Pure worship. Yes. Worship that's due unto your name. Yes. We declare the Lord honor, power, power. glory, oh. and wisdom yes. to instruct to our God. Mambros, yes. We worship you, Jehovah. Maranatha, we worship you. Yes, despite what's going on, we worship you. We glorify your holy name. Oh, Jesus. So we declare, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we come before you this morning, Father God, with nothing else but to give you the absolute glory that's due unto your name. So we declare, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. We pray, Father God, for your perfect will. We honor your divine presence. We honor the glory of God. We honor the blood of Jesus Christ. We honor the body of Jesus Christ. We honor the word of the living God. We honor the spirit of truth. Yes. Spirit of grace. Yes. We are, 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 we are in awe of thee. And in the multitude of that mercy will be worshipped towards thy holy temple. Now, Father God, we declare, Father God, you said we could declare the end from the beginning. So we declare what you declare. 
We proclaim now, God, in the name of Jesus, that the kingdom has come, it's yes. established. Yes. Your rule, Father God, is here. Yes. Your presence is here. We honor you, the divine presence. Yes. We declare and decree now, God, in the name of Jesus, every life will be influenced yes. by the presence of the living God. In your presence, there's fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. Yes, Lord. Father God, we worship you not with faintness, but we worship, Father God, we do not worship from a distance, mm -hmm. but we worship, Father God, in proximity of yes. you, close proximity. So we declare now, God, in the name of Jesus, put your stamp on the service. Yes. We declare, Father God, that your angels are here. Yes. Your rule is here. Your authority is here. Your basilica is here. The holies of holies is here. Al Gramba. Rebans Kidebremis. So we declare now, God, in the name of Jesus, that we fall prostrate before thee. We declare now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, let the fire be implemented. Yes, God. Let unity be implemented. Yes. Let your glory be implemented. Yes. Let the, the infilling of the Holy Ghost be implemented yes. in the name of Jesus the Christ. We declare, Father God, we implement your ideologies yes, over this land, yes. over this nation, yes. over this region. We lift our hands and declare now, God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Father God, your power will be known. Oh, Hallelujah. Your glory will be expound. Oh, in the mighty name of yes. Jesus the Christ. Yes. We speak as we ought. Yes. We declare as we ought. Yes. You said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Yes. So we say and declare now, God, the revival in our hearts. Yes. A bubbling over in our hearts. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In an inauguration of one of your divine oh, presence in this place. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Father God, for the Shekinah glory. Uh, yes. We thank you for the presence of God. Glory. For the Kabod of God. For the Kabod of God. Yes. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus. Oh. Every yoke destroyed. Yes. Every yes. burden. Yes. Yes. Every sickness dismissed. We receive the weight of God, the glory of God, the power of God, the might of God, the strength of God, the wisdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. Thank you, Father God, for the anointing. Yes. Let your anointing of God break every yoke. Pardon, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, with your mercy, Lord God, this nation, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. We bless you. We give you the glory. We praise you. We ask you right. on all these things. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. And every person says, Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. We are we are craving, we are hungry yeah. for the presence of God. He said to the pure, you'll show yourself pure. He yeah. says, Blessed are those that pure in heart, they shall. See God, the Lord of God, we're gonna see it with our own eyes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Our body's gonna experience it. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God! Hallelujah! Praise your holy name. Thank you, Father, for your divine presence in this house. I'd rather be no other place right now, but to be in the presence of the Lord. I don't have to be in an edifice on the hill, glory to God. Hallelujah. But we declare even now that we are in your presence. Yes, oh, oh, and that's all we need right oh, now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I'm so thankful for those who are watching. Uh, maybe for the first time. And we declare now in the name of Jesus Christ that everything that is spoken. Yeah. And will be 
manifested in your home, manifested in relationships, manifested in every area of your life. Lord God, this is not a made of presence. This is the presence of the living God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. As you know, we're a church of worship, the word and healing. Yes, Lord. And as we're a church of worship, the word and healing, we declare, we make um, personal declarations known that we're speaking audaciously. Uh, we're speaking. Um, not with two sides of our mouth, but we're speaking accurately. Yeah. And we're speaking with precision. Yeah. We're speaking, and there's going to be an impact. Yeah. You do not, you do not double tongue. You do not double, not double minded. We speak as we ought to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. So open up our mouth now. Let's speak. We speak today that the windows of heaven are open over my life, and what I desire to accomplish will be accomplished. I decree that I'm in a season of gathering, and not scattering. I prophesy that I'm walking in my destiny. There's nothing missing and nothing broken in my life. I declare abundance of wealth and health over my life. I am walking in the overflow, and the strength and the power of the Lord is over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We decree and declare the manifestation of explosive growth over Maranatha International. We speak that every seed is filled. There's a line on the outside. People waiting to get it. We activate the law of influence. In this ministry, we speak to Maranatha International to be fruitful. Multiply spiritually and financially. We decree divine favor and the spirit of wisdom over this church, its membership. We call the spirit of success. We call the spirit of success, prosperity, and the prophetic manifestation over this church, our homes, our jobs, over our businesses. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I know we're getting ready to go through this uh, um, information here. I want you to turn with me to Psalms 91 because we have to remind we have to remind the, the pestilence. Yeah. We have to remind the diseases. We have to remind the destruction yeah. that they're not coming down our dwelling place. Never. Let's repeat after me. I dwell, I dwell in the secret place, the secret place of the most high. Of the most high. And on the under. The shadow yeah. of the Almighty. Of the Almighty. Therefore, Therefore, I proclaim, I proclaim I he is my refuge is and, my and my fortress. We proclaim, we proclaim that him, alone, him alone we will trust. We, will trust. we proclaim, we proclaim that, he shall that he shall deliver us deliver from the snare, the snare of the fowler and, and from the perilous, the perilous pestilence. pestilence. We declare that he covers us with his feathers and under his wings we take refuge. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper. He is our shield. He is our buckler. We will not be afraid of terror by night or the arrow that flies by day. We will not be moved by the pestilence that will in the darkness, nor destruction at noonday. A thousand shall fall by my side, ten thousand by my right. But it will never, never ever 
come near me, nor my family. With my eyes, I will look and I will see the reward of those that plotted against me, that tried to connive against me, that tried to, that meant me evil. I will see with my own eyes the reward of the wicked because. I've made the Lord my refuge, even the most high, my dwelling place. No evil of any sort, of any fashion, shall befall me or my household, nor any plague, nor any COVID 19, nor COVID 20, nor COVID 21 will ever come nigh me in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, a radical warrior. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. As you know, we are very enough for international. Thank you. Where people worship the word. Ah, well, growing church, vision to build the kingdom of God here on the earth. Hallelujah. Maranatha the inter uh, vision statement to impact the community and the world through worship, the word, and healing. To establish a church of love that will look out for the benefit of others. A church with a passion for souls. One equipped to help believers grow in faith and authority. Amen. Amen. As you know, 2021 is the year of the Pentecost. We will experience the indwelling of the Holy Ghost in an extraordinary world. Glory to God. Thursday prayer Bible study. Invite others to join us. You definitely don't want to miss Bible study. A powerful time of going through Revelation. Glory to God. And I encourage you to tell everyone. I'm not sure if everyone did exactly what I'll be clear for them to do. <laughs> but anyway, glory to God. To hear our message in its entirety today, you can go on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and also on our website, marinathainter.org. Now, join us um, as we celebrate and as we sing this social song. Maranatha is a place to be. A place to be. Oh, 
This song is taken from Revelation 7 to 5. This talks about giving God the worship. Amen. Oh, <laughs> 
Of worshiping God, yes, Lord. And the word of God says, He's you yes. to be worshiped. Yes. 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 He's worthy, yes. Lord of God. He's, a, he's oh, deserving of the glory. Yes. 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 In this place, we do not go back, but we give Him the whole portion. Oh, Lord, yes. 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. There's a thing that we used to do in, um, in prison ministry when we were talking with the, with the clients. The clients, but the the inmates or the residents. That first day is an introduction day, and they're all surrounded. And um, the the moderator will get up behind the uh, the podium and say, "Give this story about this king 
that was riding on a cart. Amen. And he was riding on a cart. He came in contact with a peasant. Yeah. And the peasant the king asked. <clears throat> uh, the, the peasant asked for one of the wheat that was in his um and his barrel. Amen. And the king reached in and, and gave him one wheat. One wheat. Uh, after the he did the jewel wind chart went by and he said it's the dust clears and everything. And he also would have imagined, he said, well, what if I would have asked him for the whole no barrel? Mm-hmm. Lord God, what if you give me the whole barrel? Yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord, yeah. That's how our worship is. Yeah. Yeah. And when I hold it, he comes back to yeah. give us everything. Everything. Lord God. The scripture says that we will worship him with all our strength. Our yeah. might, our heart, yeah. Yeah. our life, everything we give God the glory that you want to bring to Lord God. So this morning, do not go back and wait. Glory, glory to God. But give and ask for everything. Yeah. Glory to God, give him everything in his worship. Amen. Hallelujah. And in worship, we have an opportunity to worship in giving. Um, in giving. Yes, Lord. What an opportunity to turn to worship and giving. And I believe yeah. that God says, I'm not going to tell you something that I'm going to do myself. So I'm going to worship in giving you my best gift, which yes, is Lord. Jesus Christ. Yes, and I'm going to sow him in the ground. But at the same time, while I'm giving it, I'm going to be thankful that he's going to bring forth such a return. Such a return. And that what eyes of the see, the eyes of the heard, are even mentioned in the hearts of the people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So when we give, when we give with that intention that we give to a heart of gratitude. Yes, no. yes, you can't no. help but to receive the harvest back in glory. Amen. glory. Amen. So today I bring, we bring our tithes, our offering to this house of the Lord. We declare that the windows of heaven are open over our lives. Our blessing will come upon us and our families. We proclaim, we declare in our own house that we are big givers. And we love to give. Believe that the more that we give, the more we receive. We decree and declare increase over our over our finances. We declare promotion on our jobs. We declare profit over our business and prosperity over our lives. We seek healing, wisdom, and the world over our finances and this ministry. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man, that's so great. God, God, we declare now, God, that in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we proclaim and declare as we speak to this seed, Lord God. We command the seed, Father God, to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. To return, Father Lord, a thousand fold. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus. Let it be a swift um, turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. That as we give unto you, Father, we give from our heart to honor you, to bless you, and say you are the best. We worship you now, Father God, and I'll give it. We yes, give you the glory. We give you the honor. Yes, Lord. We praise you. Lord. Thank you for glory. By your precious name, yes, Lord. we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And it's good to know the hour that we're living in. Yeah. Glory to God. And we understand our identity. Yeah. Yes. Amen. We understand that this is Maranatha. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord right. God. Yes. This is the church of worship. The word yeah. Yeah. And it's important that we understand our lane. Yeah. Our, Man, yeah. our lane. Yeah. Yes. And we, we, we understand that when we're in our lane, we know how to. Um, navigating in our lane, yes, Lord. Glory to God. We're not necessarily like another church over there, uh, 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 moving in, our, in the same direction. Yes, exactly. We understand uh, the map that He has given unto us yes. um, in worship. Glory yes, to God. That anything yes. that happens in this territory, yes. Lord to God, um, He has positioned us yes, um, yes. as um, as over overseers yes, yes. of worship. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. And declare the word and healing. Word. Glory to God. We also know that this ministry also has a Davidic um, anointing yeah. upon it. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, yeah. The anointing of David is upon this ministry. Yeah. Glory yeah. God. Amen. Amen. Was David. David, was, David was a commander. Yeah. Glory to God. He was a, he was a psalmist. 
Um, he was a he was a leader. He was a he was just a, a person that was after man after, after God's own heart. Amen. A person that loves loves the Lord. Amen. And in this ministry, we love the Lord. That's what the vision said. We're looking out for what? the benefit of, of others. Yeah. Lord God, we love him so much that we want to make sure that others are well taken yeah. care of. Yeah. Oh, yes. Lord yes. God. Yes. And we're so thankful that we're not a private church, uh, but we're a church that understands that we come to him at his feet, yeah. knowing that Amen. 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 that we do is to bless his holy yes. name. Lord, yes. 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 Lord God, and for those that are watching, you may be looking for a church, you may be looking for a place where you can um, sell your family. I believe that even now, that the, that the word of God says that, that if you find yourself in the right place, yes, if you Lord. plant yourself in that in that place, Glory. you will flourish. You will flourish. You will flourish in the house of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. So as we prepare for the word of God, we can prepare our hearts. Those who are watching right now, yes, Lord. Um, I just want to just to make this declaration with me. Glory. I declare that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Therefore, I prepare my heart to hear the word of God. I believe that my faith will increase and my life will be changed as I hear the word today. The enemy will not steal the seed that will be planted in my heart. I decree that the eyes of my understanding will be open as I hear the word of God. I will hide God's word in my heart and I will not sin against them. I will hear God's word and do God's word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, this morning is such an opportunity and such a privilege um, to come before the Lord and to understand that we serve a, a good God. We yeah. serve a loving God. We serve yeah. a righteous God. So let's pray. Father God, we honor you. We bless you, Father God. We glorify your holy name. Ah, Simbro. We bless you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. For living inside of us, yes, God. For for taking your abode, the Lord inside of us, for dwelling in us. We thank you, Father God, for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father God, for the dominion, the Lord of that indwelling. Father God, that others may see that there is a God who still stands tall, tall, and strong. We declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we acknowledge the anointing. Yeah, I praise you, Father God, for the anointing. Let it increase as I speak. Father God, let the anointing, Lord, be experienced by those that are hearing. In the name of Jesus, just like in the days, Lord, when the apostles spoke, Father God, that the Spirit of the Lord came upon the people. We declare now, God, in the name of Jesus, that our lives will never ever be the same. Yes. And that your perspective will be known, and that your heart will be felt. Yeah. And the words of the word of my mouth, the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in your yes, sight. God. My strength, our strength, and our redeemer. We praise you, Father God, and we give you the glory and we give you the honor. And we ask now, Lord, all these things in Jesus Christ we declare. And every person says, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to be before you about 30 minutes. Um, so. I uh, just wanted to kind of share some things with you as this new year is unfolding. Yeah. And um, I know 2021, actually 2020, um, we thought, you know, <clears throat> that as we saw 2020, you know, um, the declaration that's going to be this, uh, a great year. Amen. And depending on how you look at it, it was <laughs> a great year. Glory to God. Yes. But I believe that even in 2021, you know, I was, you know, just ask my Lord, you know, what are you saying for 2021? And he believed he was talking about the indwelling um, of the, the presence of, of, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, the Pentecost, which you have which we have read in Acts 2, will become relevant yeah. uh, with the goal in mind to win souls yeah. Yeah. for the kingdom yeah. of God yeah. Yeah. and to prepare the people for the return, returning of Jesus Christ. Oh. Glory to God. So everything that we do in this year will be um, associated with that, you know, uh, with worship, um, praise, and talking about um, the God factor that's living on the inside of us. Amen. 
it's important that we understand that. For those who are watching, I want you to be encouraged no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're faced with. Always remember that you have a God factor. Amen. You have the dwelling of the Holy Spirit living on the inside. Of you. Yes, God. And that's very big. That's very, very big. Amen. Glory to God. Now, um, in going through this, I'm going to be talking about the dwelling of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right. When I talk about a dwelling, it means something that what takes up habitation. Yeah. All right. Comes something comes to live inside of inside. And it's a lot of times when we go through problems, when we go through situations, um, sometimes we're not privy of the fact that God is living on the inside of you. All right? Sometimes you read it in the Bible and we say, you know, we read it, but it, we don't have the, it doesn't come to, we don't come to grips with the fact that the Holy Spirit is, in fact, living on the inside of me. Amen. Lord of God. And we, we, some, we, we, take, we take a lot of time when we talk about the Father. Uh, we talk about Jesus. We talk about the cross. We talk about his death. Yeah. Um, but we never take time to talk about the Holy Spirit yeah. who is here on the earth right now, right now living inside of us. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. And if we will take close, pay close attention um, to having a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And have him lead you. Um, he will lead, he will never leave but lead us astray. But he will lead us into a path of righteousness for his name's sake. So today we're going to be talking about the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Now we understand um, that there the word of God says in first John chapter five, verses seven. It says, for there are three that bears record in heaven. How many? Three. Three that bears record in heaven. And it goes on to say, the Father, all right, all right, our Heavenly Father, Abba Father, Adonai, Elohim, um, that's the name God has spoke the world into existence. It says, let there be what? Light, right. and there will light. Glory to God. So we have God the Father, and then we have the Word. And we understand that the word is Jesus, which is the Logos. Amen. In St. John's chapter 1, verses 1, it says, In the beginning was the word, the word and the Logos, word. and the word was with God, and the word was God. And then later on in that verse, it says, The word became flesh and dwelt among us. That word, now not just the Logos, but now it now become flesh. It came through Mary, and now we can handle, we can touch. We can see the, the, the nails in, uh, from, from the sacrifice in his hands. Yeah. Glory to God, because he is the word. So it's three that bears witness. So we have the Father, uh, we have the word, and then we have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And it says, and these three are one. They operate as one. When Jesus is speaking, it says, I am the Father, are uh, one. I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me. The disciples said, what do you mean by that? Show us the Father. Yeah. I said, oh, have you been me long enough that you have not understood yet? He says, um, the words that I speak, um, when you see me, you see the Father. The Father. Yeah. Glory to God. When I speak these words, are not my own words, but these are the words of my Father. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever I do, I'm instructed to do what my Father tells me to do. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. The scripture says that me, my father and I are one. And my meat is to do the will of my father. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. So we see that the father is always pointing at the son, Jesus. And Jesus is always giving credit to the father. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Holy Spirit is pointing to Jesus. Jesus is pointing to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So that brings a uniqueness of a oneness. Yeah. The three are one. So there's three that bears witness in the heavens. And we have to make a note of that. We can't acknowledge two and leave out one. Amen. Glory to God. Or acknowledge one and leave out two. But there's three. three. Glory to God. We are there right now. The Father is right now on his throne. Oh. Glory to God. Because we saw when John was raised up and caught up in the spirit while he was on the island of Patmos, he saw one that was seated on the throne. Glory to God. Where is Jesus right now? Jesus is at the right hand. 
of the Father making intercession for us. When Jesus went away, he slapped hands with the Holy Spirit and yeah, says, yeah. you now go to the earth, Lord, because I'm going to send another comforter to yeah. the earth. So right now, the Holy Spirit is taking reign in the earth. Yeah. Uh, the, what he, the power that's released is through his, his saying. Yeah. Uh, it's through his doing, through his acknowledging. Yeah. Glory to God. So the more that we have a relationship with Jesus and acknowledge the Holy Spirit is the more of his power will be felt and experienced in your life. Glory to God. Now, in St. John chapter 15, verses 26, do some teaching here. In St. John chapter 15, verses 26, it says, but when the comforter is come, that's another name for the Holy Spirit. Or in the Old Testament, it says the Holy Ghost. All right. Some other names are the standby, because right? he standbys us. He's also the comforter. You might have gone through a time where you've lost someone, or lost a loved one. The Holy Spirit comes as a blanket to bring you and to take you through those difficult times. So he's your comforter. He's your standby. He's your advocate. He is your lawyer. Yeah, Lord of God. Yeah. He is your strength. Sometimes yeah. man, I say, man, who you? He like come to the church and he says, Come on, I'll, I'll give you the strength, Lord of God, to take you to go to church and then you receive my strength. I believe Daniel, when he was talking to God, God says, I don't know, but all of a sudden I feel strengthened because while I was talking to God, I felt strength in my system. So he's yeah. our strengthener. Yeah. Okay, so he says, but when the Holy Spirit has come, I will send him unto you, and the Father, even the Spirit of truth, he's also called the Spirit of truth, yeah. which proceeded from the Father. So he comes out of the, of the Father. And then he says, Jesus says that he, meaning the, that it, he will testify of me. So the Holy Spirit is always talking about the word. Yeah. He moves according to to the word, because the word and Jesus are one. Are you with me so far? Yeah. So it says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot see. So we cannot see the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So sometimes it's kind of difficult. So now you have to operate by faith yeah. to say that, hey, there's someone that's living on the inside right. of me when I accept it and I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart uh, a being by the name of the Holy Spirit came and lived, is now living on the inside of me, indwelling me. Glory to God. Now let's read the rest of that. St. John chapter 14, verse 17. It says, even the spirit of truth. So he always tells the truth. The truth. Whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, him not neither knoweth him, but he knoweth him. For he, oh, the Holy Spirit, dwelleth with you, catch a sound, and shall be in you. Jesus says the Holy Spirit will dwell in you, live, take up a bowl, sit down as a permanent resident, and shall be in you. Think about that. Those times when we went through situations, when we were troubled about certain things that were going through our mind, we said, man, I wish I had someone that I could talk to. The Holy Spirit said, hey, I am living in you, talk to me. Amen. I'll bring you through. Yeah. I'll take you through. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Yeah. All right. So when we look at this word dwell from this word, it means, it comes from the word meno, M-E-N-O, a transliteration, meno. It means to remain. The Holy Spirit says, I will remain in you. It also means to abide. He says, I will abide in you. It means to tarry. It means to stay. Greater 
Glory to God. Nowadays, we want to go over here. We want to go to this church because we, we want to hear a word. And the Holy Spirit says, listen, what about me? I'm living inside of you. Yeah. And I will tell you what to do. I will tell you when you're making the wrong decision. I will tell you what investments to invest in. I will tell you how to find your keys. I will tell you even what clothes to put on. Glory to God. Because I will speak to you. He desires a relationship. Oh, Glory to God. But also he says that I will show you things to come. He is a revealer. Yeah. Before yeah. It's a problem comes into your situation, he can show you, say, hey, this is about to go down in your neighborhood. Yeah. This is about to go down for your kids. This is about to happen on your job. Glory to God. Let me show you some things to come prophetically so you can make the adjustments. Yeah. You can get down on the knees and pray that that doesn't happen in my family. That doesn't yeah. happen on my son or yeah. on my watch. He will thank your Holy Spirit for showing us, revealing to us the things to come. Glory to God. So we have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of me. He reveals to us. He shows us. And he brings the things to our members so we can speak um, with precision. We can speak with wisdom. Glory to God. Now, so the spirit of the living God is where? He's living on the inside of us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, it says, Do you not know that the, that you are God's temple? And that God's spirit dwells inside of you. If, <clears throat> if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are the temple. Now let's go back. Uh, let's back up a little bit. Because in the Old Testament, it wasn't like that. Glory to God. Because God says this. He said, I'm looking for a place. He came to, to Moses and he says, listen, would you God build me a place where I can stay? Imagine that. God coming to a human being and said, would you build me a place where I can come and take up my residence where I can dwell? And Moses says, what do you mean by that? What do you want me to build? I said, I want you to build me a tabernacle. In Exodus chapter 25, verses 1 and 22, he goes through an elaborate details of how this tabernacle is to be built. Uh, we see that it's a place where it has an outer court. Um, it has a holy place. And it has the holies of holies. And he says, I want you to build it to my spec. So I can come and dwell. What do you mean by dwell? I want to come and reside. I want to be there permanently. I want to stay and remain permanently among them. Among who? Among the people because I'm a relationship God. Yeah. And I want to be with my people. Yeah. I don't worship from a, I don't want to talk to them from a distance and yell over the, the terrain. Hey, you over there. No. He says, I know you by name. Yeah. Lord God, I know every here. That's on your head. So he said, build me a tabernacle so I can come and dwell. And it says, I want you to I'll take this tabernacle. And I, got, I, I already have a tabernacle in heaven. So I'm going to give you the blueprints on how to build it. Build it after this pattern, after this likeness, or after this model. That word model comes from the word tablet. It means the pattern on the way it should be. Furnish. And I want you to use the best of all the, um, the materials. I want you to use acacia wood. I want you to use um, um, colors like blue and purple because I am a royalty type of God and I wanted to represent. I want you to use gold and overlay stuff with gold, the best that you have on Amen. the earth. Yeah. And he said, I want you to build me this tabernacle. I will tell you how long it's going to be. I want to tell you what furnitures need to go into this tabernacle. Are you with me so far? Yes, yes. So we see here that in this tabernacle, we have the outer court. Yeah. And in the outer court is some instruments and some furniture items that's in the outer court. Everything reflects and talks about Jesus the Christ. Yes. Yes. 
We have room for you. First, coming to the outer court, you have the altar of, 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 of sacrifice. Talking about the cross where Jesus Christ was buried and he was crucified. When they take the animals and they take them up and they, you know, they, they, they basically slaughter the animal. Jesus says that I am that tabernacle. Glory to God. So in the outer court, you also have the place where the, where the priests go and they wash themselves. And they wash themselves at that place uh, called the basin, where it says that I am the place. If you want to be clean, you can come to me. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Jesus says that by my words, my words will make you clean. Yeah. Glory to God. So you can come to me and wash, just like that woman with at the that, that met him at the well and says, I'm looking for water that can wash me and that can satisfy me. He says, I am that water. I am the water of life. Yeah. Glory to God. So we see that the tabernacle it says, build this tabernacle because everything in the tabernacle um, reflects and is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now we have the outer courts, three parts to it. Then we have the what? The holy place. In the holy place, we have the menorah. Yeah. All right? Or the candlesticks, seven candlesticks. Apart, because Jesus says that I am the light of the world. Yeah. So on the right is the candlestick or the menorah and then the left is the table of showbread meaning that i am the bread of life if you need satisfied in any area of your life i am the satisfying bread um, producer in your life glory to god so we see in that article that in that tabernacle said i want you to make sure everything is exactly um how to specs to pattern because I'm going somewhere with this. Glory to God. Now, before you get to the third compartment, you have the you have the altar of incense. All right. And then the altar of incense is now separated by a curtain. Glory to God. But the scripture says that when Jesus Christ died on the cross, the curtain was ripped from top to bottom. Glory to God. Back in those days, only the priests could access the holies of holies once a year. Yom Kippur, glory to God, where they will come in and they will sacrifice on behalf and go behind the veil. We heard songs about going behind the veil, glory to God. But that veil has been what? Ripped from top to bottom. And then the third compartment, we see the holies of what? Holies of holies, where we have the Ark of the Covenant. We have the mercy seat, where the priests will come there once a year on behalf of the people. Glory to God, and that He will sprinkle seven times against that 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 um that that that, that mercy seat. Glory to God in in behalf of the people. Glory to God, but it was a place where it was very confined because it was only a space for one. Glory to God, and in that place was the very Shekinah glory of God, yeah. where He dwelled. The place where He asked Moses to build him a place. He says. I dwell in that place between the two cherubims which have their wings spread out called the holies of holies. Now it says, why do you say all of that? Because in Exodus chapter 25, verses 22, the scripture says it's there. Where? Right there between the cherubims in the holies of holies is where I talk to you. Yeah. Glory to God. It says, there I will meet with you. Yeah. Not on the outer courts, yeah. Yeah. not in the holy place, but it's where I meet with you. In the holies of holies. It says, I will meet with you there. It's important that you understand that because now the Old Testament, the scripture says in Hebrews that we have now built on better promises and now we are now building jesus comes he says that i have come to fulfill what was written in the old testament but now we have better promises we don't necessarily have to go to a priest to experience his presence per se we don't have to wait until once a year called Yom Kippur to experience his presence now we can experience his presence firsthand Amen. Make sense? Amen. Glory to God. So now God says that the tabernacle that you saw in the Old Testament, you are that tabernacle now. Glory to God. 
And now that same tabernacle, I now have come to dwell in, in you. Not in the holy place. Not in the outer court. But in the third place, which is what? The holies of holies. Glory to God. Now catch this now. The scripture says that God's temple, we are God's temple, and he dwells inside of us. First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19. It says, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. You are bought with a price. Last week we established the fact that we were bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. It's because of his blood that we have the freedom and we have the access to his presence right now because of his blood. Amen. Glory to God. So he says, you are not to also glorify um, God in your body. Yeah. Glory to God. So now we, have, we see a picture of the Old Testament, the tabernacle. And then we look at you. And God says, take that model and now apply it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are that tabernacle. Man. You, you are that tabernacle. Man. And you have three compartments to you. Yeah. All right? Three levels to you. You have your body, you have your soul, and you have your spirit. Three part I be. Your body your soul, which is your mind, your will, and your intellect, and your spirit. God says, I have come now to live in your spirit. Just like I lived in the third compartment called the holies of holies, you are now the holies of holies. In other words, your spirit is the holies of holies. Don't you know that you have a human spirit? You're born in the very image of God. And God comes, he says that I've come to what? Dwell in your spirit. Glory to God. So we see here in your body now, we have the outer court. We have the holy place. And we have the holies of holies. And God dwells where? In the holies of holies, which is your spirit. Now, today, what I'm, I'm almost kind of ashamed to say is that some People live, glory to God, their lives um, on the outer court. Glory to God. They, 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 yes, they have accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Glory to God. But they're living as close to the world as possible. Glory to God. Glory to God. They're living as, can I do this or can I do this? Can I do this or can I do that? Can I get away with this? And now it's kind of set into the kind of seep into the churches where someone wants to live as close to the world as possible. In other words, they accept Jesus Christ, but they worship from afar. Glory to God. They want to be as close to the world as possible, just like Lot. When Abraham was time, God says, now it's time for you to now break and separate because what I have for you, um, you cannot carry that with you. Glory to God. So now he separated. Now he told Lot. He said, Lot, I want you to choose where you should go. And Lot surveyed. And he says, give me that place right there. Because from right there, I can also see Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, I can still be in the church. But I can still have my foot in the club. I, I, I got my foot in the church, but I still could sleep with whoever. Um, I could smoke whatever, and I could do whatever. And um, we're just living um, on the outer court. Lord, yes, you can praise God from the outer court too, uh, but you don't have that, that intimacy from living from the holies of holies. Glory to God. We're living as close to the world as possible. Glory to God. God says we want to move from that outer court type person into the holies of holies. Make sure it makes, makes sense. Glory to God. Because we are the tabernacle. We are the temple of God. Glory to God. So we talked about the fact that we as children of God, we have what? 
three parts. We have the outer courts, we have the holy place, and we have the what? The holies of holies. Glory to God. In other words, we it, it speaks of the way, the truth, the holy place, and the life. All right? Make sense? Glory to God. Now, God said, I'm going to give you some other instances that I have the revelation of the sun in the outer court, all right, with the altar, and the revelation of the Holy Spirit, glory to God, in the holy place, and then the revelation of the Father in the holies of holies. Is that a go? Is, is that a go? I'll give you another example. Glory to God. So we have the good, we have the better. And we have the best. The best. Right. Glory to God. And some of us have been comfortable with just the good. All right. Yes, we had church, but we didn't experience the richness and the presence of God. Yes, we should lick on some tongues. Glory to God. But there was no manifestation and there was no life change. Yes, we ran around the church and the organ was up high. Glory to God. But there was no light being shed into the life of that individual to change that person's life. Glory to God. Yes, yes, we had a thousand people in that service. Glory to God. But nothing changed. Glory to God. So we have the wilderness. We have Jordan. And we have the Canaan land. Amen. And some of us have been comfortable in the wilderness. Yeah. Glory to God. And some of us are just hanging out by the Jordan. Yeah. But God says, come over into Canaan land. Yeah. Glory to God. You wouldn't believe how big those fruits are. Glory to God. And how sumptuous those uh, the, the, the fruits are in that place yes, called the holies of holies. And that's where God is, wants to get us as a church, as a body, as a believer, as Maranatha, but also corporately. He's trying to move the church from the outer courts, yes. glory to God, into the holies of holies. Glory to God. So what you're saying, Pastor, the, you're saying that the holies of holies inside of me, Amen. inside my spirit, I say yes. Yes, yes. So you mean that when I'm saying glory, when I say send your glory over here, yes. that means the glory is coming from within me? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> glory to God. The holies of holies is on the inside of us. Glory to God. Because we don't get that, we have that right concept. We are asking God to rip the heavens, come down here, and God said, What are they saying? Amen. Don't they know that I'm already there? In there? They just have to acknowledge me and give me an environment of worship. Glory to God. And praise yeah. and time with yeah. me yeah. To, to show you my rawness of my power that's already on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Glory. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The open heaven is in your spirit. Yes. Glory to God. You remember the Bible that says, Give and it shall be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Hallelujah. Shall men what? Give into your where is your bosom? Bosom is your spirit, the heart, the real you. Glory to God. And also we see the scripture where it says, give tithes. You know, it says tithes. If you give your tithes, you'll what? Open you the what? The windows of heaven and pour you out what? A blessing that you have not what? Room enough to receive. Where is that window? Yes. It's inside of you. Inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. It's in, the blessing is already inside of you. Oh, glory, yeah. glory, glory, glory. <laughs> the supernatural is where? Inside of you. Inside of you. Hallelujah. The supernatural is inside of you. Amen. Glory to God. So if I would come to a point where I was like, man, 
I'm just I'm just thirsty for you, God. I've been service after service, and sometimes that's my wife. Sometimes when it's time to go to a, another service, I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Glory to God. because after a while you you just don't, don't want to just be a service to be a service. No, 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 no. You want a profound encounter yeah. with the living God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You you want to you want to meet God there. Glory yeah. to God. You want to know that God is there because you carry God there. Yeah. Yeah. So the miraculous is in that holy place, your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. The atmosphere of glory is in your spirit. Yeah. Glory to God. In Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty seven, it says, "The spirit of man is the king. The is where the fire is." Yeah. Glory to God. It, it says, Lots of Hachi is on oh, yeah. fire. Yeah. That's one of the songs of my wife. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. It's inside of us. Yeah. Glory to God. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, Lord. searching all the inward parts of the belly. Amen. There's only one way you can successfully run a race. Yes. And what God has set before you is to live up and to live abundantly in His provision. Is by learning how to receive and to know that the Holy Spirit is living inside of you. Glory, and you just need to listen to what he is saying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Proverbs chapter 20, 27, that like we just said, it says the Spirit of the Lord is the candle of the Lord. Glory to God. What he's trying to say, that's where the holy place is. That's where the burning is. That's where the fire is. That's where the glory is. That's where the smoke is. That's where the presence is. That's where worship is inside of your spirit. He says he's looking for those that will worship me in what? In spirit. In that, from that holy place. From that holies of holies. Glory to God. So in modern language will be the spirit is the light bulb of the Lord. <laughs> it gives you an illumination. The light bulb is turned on. What darkness? What is dispelled? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Now it's it's important that to understand that the indwelling of the Holy Holy Spirit. Paul now comes behind that and begins to start saying some stuff here. In Romans chapter eight, verses sixteen, it says, "The Spirit Himself beareth witness with our spirit." Amen. He said it right there in. Romans, Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit who lives in the holies of holies Amen. in our human spirit, he will bear witness with who? With your spirit. He has a conversation with your spirit. He whispers to your spirit. Glory to God. He, he, he whispers and he touches you when you're going in the wrong direction. He'll bear witness with your spirit. And we are, we are the children of God. So the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That means that God communicates, communicates to us through our spirits because God is a spirit. In St. John chapter 4, verse 24, he says, He has made us in his image. Um, and, um, and we are created in this very likeness. Because our spirits are born again, all that is what we come in. We cannot, we can't come with God in our soul or our body, but only from our spirit. Now I'm going to leave this with you now as it comes. As it comes. As you know, we have declared that this year is the year of Pentecost. And I believe that it should be a year of Pentecost where you are um, you're con you're cognizant of the fact that. The spirit of the living God is living inside of you. All right. Let's look at uh, Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. And we're going to close with this. I only want to be with you about a few minutes. Acts chapter 2. And it's not just to you, but it's also to the corporate body in general. Amen. You see, in, um, in Acts chapter 1, verses 8. Jesus was getting ready to, to leave. All right. And now before he, he, he left, he says that I will be the way, but you shall stay um in, in the place called Jerusalem. And at that place
grace you will receive from God. But the Holy Spirit is come upon you, right? And then you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and Judea. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Right? Now, in Acts chapter 1, you see that now, as they got that directive, they were disrupted from, from Jesus. They went into a place of prayer. Right? That's where the church should be right now, isn't it? In a place of prayer. prayer. Glory to God. Because God wants to now show us and reveal to us the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Glory to God. And we can't go around prayer. Yeah. Glory to God. Because you remember in the tabernacle where it was the prayer altar and put right before the Holy of Holies. Glory to God. Right before the curtain showing you that when they burn incense, it's like your prayer goes up as incense. Glory to God. So in order for you to, to embrace and to manifest us inside of the holies of holies, it cannot go around prayer. All right? That's why in Acts 1, the women, 120 and women, they went in prayer. All right? Now, as the prayer was intensified, just like intensifies in you individually. When your prayer intensifies, you, 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 you don't have to man, man veil. It just manifests what's already on the inside of you. The glory now comes out. All right? Supernatural comes out to lay hands on the sick. All right? Because you've got access and things to what? Prayer. You have to use the same model. That is laid out before us in Acts 1. All right? So prayer was made, they continued in praying, and they were in one accord. Right? And in supplication with women and the women of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And now let's go down to now verse 2, chapter 2, and we're going to end with this. Those are some things that happened here. They were in prayer, they're in prayer, they're in prayer, and then all of a sudden something happened. Verse in chapter 2, verse 1, it says, And when the day of Pentecost, Pentecost means 50, all right, um, 50 days um, after the Passover, it had to happen because of Pentecost, all right. Um, when the day of Pentecost had fully come in one place, um, fully come, they were all with one accord. So when the when the Pentecost is now begin to start manifesting in, in Maranatha, we're going to be what? In one accord. In unity. I remember when we were at the old building and everybody was just intensely praising God, praising God, and glorifying God. And then I'm not sure if you guys are there, but all of a sudden, almost like time stopped. And for about a couple of seconds, the, the glory of God came. I, I, I'll never forget that. The glory of God came. Nobody could do nothing. It just sat right in there for this split second, this couple of seconds, and you knew that there was God. Yeah. Yes, yes, you, yes. It's not like you know. A lot of times you go to church. Some churches they say, "Oh, the glory." I mean, use it flippantly. The glory of God is here. The glory of God is here. Listen, man. When the glory of God comes, every person is to the ground. Every person salutes the fact that there is an authority figure in the room that's greater than you. Glory to God. Everyone falls to the prostrate. In the second Chronicles chapter 7, verse where we said Solomon when he was dedicating the, the, the temple, the glory of God came in. They couldn't minister, they couldn't do nothing, they just fell on the ground. I'm talking about the glory of God. Yeah. Right? So don't, don't get it mixed up, glory God, because we have our earthly fashion glory. Oh, we went to service yesterday and the glory of God was in that place. All right. Don't get it mixed up now. Glory to God. So here we're searching for the glory of God. So when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord. accord. They were in one accord. So there's a unity. A unity with what? First of all, there's a unity with the spirit of the living God. All right? That whatever he says for you to do, you will do. The scripture says, he that is drawn with the Lord is one spirit. So there's a unity. Glory to God. The second thing that we see, so there is a, there's unity. In the Pentecost, the second thing that we heard, saw, we, we read here in verse two, it says, and suddenly there came a sound, uh -huh. a sound. So there was unity and there is what? 
a sound. I don't know about you, but I need a new sound. Glory to God. I need to hear a sound from heaven. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. You know, just like I'm listening to some of the, the words that uh, my wife has written in her songs, uh, those, those are new what? Sounds from heaven. Glory to God. And uh, so we need to hear it's, uh, sounds. Sounds sounds that emanate from your spirit being. Yeah. Glory to God. Revelation, sounds that come forth out of your being. All right? New songs, new sounds, new, new songs, new sounds. Glory to God. That have sometimes have paid a price. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. It's nothing like hearing um, a song that someone had paid a price in, yeah. in prayer. Glory to God. And it was birthed in prayer and now they produced a song. Glory to God. Not a jiffy, I was, I was writing this down, not a jiffy loop type sound. <laughs> Glory to God. We have a song here, a song here. It sounds good, whatever it is, but there is no weight. There is no depth. Um, there is no uh, revelatory um, conversation that's going on that reveals to me the, the beauty of Christ. Hallelujah. So we need we need a sound. I don't know about you. This area needs a what? A sound. Our government needs a sound. Glory to God. A sound from heaven. As a matter of fact, the word of God says, if my people shall call by my name, shall humble themselves and what? And pray. See? Pray. Turn from their wicked ways. He said, he'll heal our lands. But he says, I will hear from heaven. I want to hear a sound. Glory to God. It says, sound as a rushing mighty wind and fill the whole house where they were sitting. All right? So we see unity from the Pentecost. We see a sound. All right? In verse 3, it shows us the third, third point. And they shall appear unto them um, divided tongues as of fire. Glory to God. I need fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. I'm not talking about a strange fire. You know what a strange fire is? A fire that has been mixed with the world. Yeah, yeah, right? Come close as possible, but there's no purity to it. It comes out of a vessel, a fire that's burning out of a vessel that's impure. Yes. Um, it, it produces uh, impureness. Even though it sounds good, I, 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 need, a, I need a fire from a, from a pure vessel. Glory to God. We need a fire. Not a strange fire mixed with the with the offshore. All right. And the fourth thing about this Pentecost is that it has manifestation. Yes. Sure. Because it says in verse four, it says, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And from that day, those disciples were never ever the same. Glory to God. They were, sh they were walking down streets, shadows were healing people, yeah. um, limbs were growing back. The yeah. person at the, uh, the gate, beautiful, he was lame, and now he jumped up and he started running. I don't know about you, but I need to see some manifestation. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. And the manifestation is only going to come through yeah. knowing that there is an indwelling of the Holy Ghost inside of us. Yeah. And as we tap into it, we will tap into the holies of holies and, and, and open up the breath of fresh air, fresh breath of fresh music and sound to this area, to this realm, to yeah. our being yeah. that will never ever be the same again. Amen. Glory to God, the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I will never ever think the way I used to think now that I know that the God is dwelling on the inside of me. You hear that? God, God is dwelling in, on the inside of me. Yes, Bow your heads with me. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for your word. I thank you, Father God, for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father God, for the, um, the explaining of your word. And we declare, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we acknowledge the, uh, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We acknowledge, Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, the presence of the Holy Ghost. Yes. We acknowledge, Father God, that in our spirit, we hold, Father God, the glory of God, Amen. the very presence of God, the supernatural is living on the inside of us. Yes. 
We declare, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we open up our spirit and we release it now in the name of Jesus into this atmosphere. We release the glory of the living God. Hallelujah. We release healings and healings. miracles, yes. deliverance and manifestations yes. in the mighty name of yes. Jesus the Christ. Ah, we release it now, Father God, in this community, yes. in this area, in yes. Natsahachi. Yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, and every person, Father God, would drop to their knees and say, what can I do? What should I do to be saved? Let there be a conviction. Let there be a reproof from the Holy Ghost yes. in the name of Jesus the Christ. So we declare now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we strive after you, as we abide in you, Father God, we declare now, God, in the name of Jesus, that in every service, that in our lives, in our Mondays, Tuesdays, all the way up to Saturday, Father God, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit yes, is yes. living on yes. the inside of us. Let it dwell in the Bahamas. Yes. Let it dwell, Father God, in Jamaica. Let it yes. dwell, Father God, in the islands of the sea. Oh, in God. the name of Jesus the Christ. Father God, let prophetic utterance be declared, Father God, under your leadership yes. in the name of Jesus as we speak as the Holy Spirit gives us the utterance. Yes. Glory to God. This is the hour, glory to God, where I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh yes. like it has been declared in Job. Yes. Position yourself. And I will show you things when eyes have not seen or ears have not heard. Yes. Time has passed. Yes. And now time is. When I reveal myself to my servants, say of the Lord of hosts, in Jesus Christ we declare. Amen. Amen. Ah, Amen. 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 Amen.